Hi everybody. I would like to answer the third question which asks whether the classroom based education programs undergo the same kind of scrutiny the distance education programs are subjected to and why distance education programs are trying to prove their worth. I don't think that the face to face education programs undergo the same kind of scrutiny the distance education programs are subjected to because the distance education programs are facing with many problems. The first problem is accreditation in minds. First of all, distance education is relatively new, especially the uh, online education is relatively new in the world and it's still in the process of being fully accepted therefore there are still some kind of accreditation problems not officially but unofficially in people's minds this is the first and the most important problem i believe even though many institutions and schools accept distance education programs diploma people still may have problem concerns about distance education program programs for example, people think that it's easy to get a diploma from distance programs, but it is not. And also they may think that you are not very much qualified to go to a traditional education programs. For instance, in Turkey we have Anadolu University, which is the largest, largest university in the world with over 500,000 students, according to Demirai 2005, McWilliams 2000. Our textbook mentions it with more details on page 13. If you are graduated with from Anadolu University, you, you don't have any problems officially when you go to a job interview or when you apply to a graduate school. But unfortunately, people think that you are not good enough for the position because, of, because you are graduated from distance education program. This is just one of the difficulties of graduating from, from a distance program. Another great example is from my roommates. Even though they are graduate students like me, they think that taking online classes, which means you know, enroll, enrolling in a distance program is just a piece of cake because they haven't taken online classes in their life. However, as a student who has taken online and face-to-face -face classes together, I can say that it's sometimes more and more difficult to be successful in online classes because of hardworking load much more readings and many assignments. I should say that distance classes are more demanding than face-to-face -face classes sometimes. The second problem is plagiarism and academic dishonesty. Secondly, distance education programs are more subjected to copyright, plagiarism and cheating issues. Since it's a distant program, students are alone with their assignments in their places and they are free to do what, what, whatever they want when they are doing quizzes or exams. So people think that, and it may be true sometimes, students do the assignments with getting help from somebody else or look, looking up their notes and books. This is not a, as an important issue as in face-to-face -face education classrooms because students are being controlled by their teachers and instructors in face-to-face -face classrooms. Even though this is a problem in distance education programs, there is some software to prevent this issue, such as Turnit Income. Turn it, turn it income. Even though such software can help to decrease the plagiarism, instructors should be careful about the plagiarism issue. As I mentioned earlier, people think that it's easy to get an online degree because it's possible to cheat and plagiarize. Therefore, this is a very important problem in distance education programs and it should be taken care of using appropriate software and instructors being more careful about it. The second part of the stimulus question is asking why distance education programs are finding themselves in an effort to prove their worth. I think distance education programs are in an effort to prove their worth for mainly three reasons. First. Distant programs are trying to show it's possible to make a small class from people in all around the world, which increases the collaboration and cooperation with people from different continents. And I believe 
and it's very obvious that this is the most important and exciting reason why distance education programs are trying to prove their worth. It's just so exciting and productive to take a class with someone from Japan while you are in the US. You can learn more about their lifestyle, culture, and also you can collaborate with those people in your professional area, which makes your work universal. Isn't that exciting? Second, distance education is very popular and acceptable for many people who have other responsibilities, such as family, work, or personal, personal obligations. For these people, distance programs are just great. Since they don't have time to meet in face-to-face -face classrooms, they prefer to go by online classes. Therefore, distance education programs are trying to show their worth for these people. The third one, and the last one, is very last reason is very related to the second one. Distance programs are new in the world, especially online education. They would like to be accepted and accredited by other, by other institutions and companies in the other countries as well. This is one of the problems, as I mentioned earlier. In order to increase the number of distant learners, distance education programs are trying to prove themselves because some people think that it's just a waste of time if distant programs are not accepted and accredited. Thank you so much. This is my answer for the stimulus questions.